Jerry, what a performance from your side this afternoon. Fantastic, honestly, Mark. That's, um, that's up there as one of the best performances since I've been manager, let alone let alone this season, obviously. We've been a bit bitty this season, we know that. I spoke about performance levels before the game. But, um, I mean, that's the difference when you can come and watch a game as well. We, we came down on Tuesday night, as you know, and um, tactically what allows me to see everything, to see the pitch. Obviously, we get scouts to go and watch games, we can watch it on video, but you don't really see the whole picture. And um, I pride myself on being tactically astute. Um, and that's what it's allowed us to be. We've sat up with a certain shape, we've gone after them, high with the front four, almost turned into like a 4-2-4, if you like, in our press. Um, and then we got the boys to drop in in a wide area. There's two attacking ones, Tommy Conway and Tom Smith. Worked ever so hard. Tried to, tried to cut the supply off to their wing backs, which we did ever so well. And the biggest compliment is we, we kept 680 people quiet, I think, for, for near on all the game, apart from when they scored. OK, we said they were going to get a moment in the game, but we limited them to, to very little. Um, we still kept creating chances. Um, really pleased for Donovan. It's a great move, great passing move, um, which he finishes off with real, real calmness. And fantastic for Tom Smith to get off the mark as well. And at 2 0, you think, well, come on, this. I don't like the word manage the game because when you say that, it's almost like you want to sit off. And we didn't. We stayed at it. Um, there was some really good football in it, honestly. It looked like, it didn't look like a team bottom of the league. It looked like a team that was up around the top. That's the biggest compliment I can pay to my players. They've taken a lot of information over this week and um, they've carried out the game plan. That's the biggest thing. They've just carried out the game plan to an absolute T. Um, and the only disappointment is obviously we've had two players sent off. Frankie for kicking a ball away. There's not a lot we can do about that off the bench. Whether it's a red or not, I don't know. I have to look at the rules. And the one with Tom, I might look at appealing it. I know it's his second yellow, but he's trying to block a cross. His hands are down by his side and he's given a, a yellow card. It's a free kick, if you like, but it's not deliberate. It's hit his arm. Um, so we'll have a look at that and we may appeal it um, because um, we, don't, we don't want to lose players now, that's for sure. We've just about got a team out there which we thought was really strong today. It felt good all week, I said mm. to you. And... Um, Credit to these players; they deserve it, and it's a, it's a great, it's a great, fe it's a great feeling on a Saturday night. You had a real captain's performance as well. Ryan Clark didn't drop a single cross. Some of the saves he pulled out the one from Kane Wills in the second half, one or two in the first half as well. Really led by example. Well, you know, when you come to these places, you're going to have to, your keeper's going to have to be in good form as well. And, and your back four, I have to say, that back four there, young James Taylor who's come in from Bristol City, he got injured with us. Um, he's a natural defender. He loves defending. You can see how he latches on. So credit to him coming back in. We pushed Will Dean into a central midfield role. And that's the bits we worked on all week. And um, like I said, I, I, I'm so pleased for our players, honestly. We said if we get a result, it could be a springboard. We're not going to get carried away. But we do know we're a very good side. I, I did say... This week, I said to some of the staff, I'm looking at training, I'm thinking we got, we've probably got a more talented group than we've had in previous seasons. But what we haven't done is yet, we haven't built a relationship and we haven't gelled. And they're starting to do that, you can see it. Physically, they're starting to get better. The sports science are working hard with them. And tactically today, as I said to a man, they were fantastic. Some of the football, some of the switches of play, some of the passing moves were terrific, honestly. Under, under, under stress, they were really calm, with bodies around them, and like you say, you come to, you come to second top or whatever in the league, with 680 people in here for the first time, none of our fans, and, and, you, and you get a result. I think this is the first time they've lost here for a very, very long time. Um, so credit goes to our players. This isn't a smash and grab. This is a, this is a fantastic performance and a very good win. Keeping players like Jason Pryor quiet as well, who I think has got 14 goals this season, more goals than games. But you've got your own lethal marksman in Donovan Wilson, at least at the other end. And we were just saying what he could have been like if we had him in the last couple of seasons, maybe. Again, I spoke about that. I wish he was available the last couple of seasons. But um, now I said all along about Donovan, people had to be patient because he got injured at Swindon Supermarine. I know the boy. I've worked with him for a very long time. He's a Bristol lad as well, so he's a West country boy and he knows what it means it matters to him he wants to train ever so hard he's doing his own stuff away from the football club as well more importantly he's a finisher and he loves scoring goals and um, he's going to be one of the best ones in the league if we can keep him fit and keep him on top um, he's going to be one of the best strikers we've got we've got we've ever had at Bath City I believe that genuinely so it's all about now just staying calm obviously we're excitable because we've got three points and we've won away from home it feels great the bus journey home that will build confidence again I've said to the boys the thing to take away now is belief and confidence. Know that you can do it. You've got a monkey off your back, if you like, that's been there. And people are saying, when are Bath going to dig out a result? Well, we've done it. We haven't dug out a result. We've come and got a really good result and deserve the result. So um, what they need to do now is, is go away, recover properly. Make sure that when we get back on the bus on Tuesday, they're ready to go and play a really tough game away at Concord. Um, on, on the evening on Tuesday night. Yeah, you've got two very long journeys to look forward to. Uh, 
looking forward to them, I suppose, is the word. Can you say that? I am, yeah. We want to play football, Mark. We want, honestly, we want to play football. People say, when you, you know, when our games were called off because of COVID and then Welling went off, we, no one's more disappointed than us that games were going off because we want to be, build that team cohesion. We haven't been able to do it, as I said, and I keep repeating myself. And honestly, it means so much. I've built myself on being a real tight-knit group. The staff are tight-knit, the players are tight-knit over the last couple of years. You know we go to Bath University, do three-day camps. We do things away from the field that people wouldn't even know. We haven't been able to do it. And that's a massive part of managing. Of course, there has to be tactical stuff, but the biggest part is always managing relationships, managing players, managing people. And we've got some very good people, as I said. They're now starting to work out each other. And um, what we want to do now, we can't guarantee a result, the next one, but we can guarantee we can go there with a little bit of confidence, no arrogance, but confidence to know if we stick to a game plan, it might have to be different. Um, we've got an opportunity then to get another result. And if we can string a couple together to see us back up the league, hopefully where, where, we, where we deserve to be eventually. Did it help having Ryan Harley back out there today? He's missed the last three. Absolutely. All these players have been key. You know, Frank Artis, Ryan Harley. We've missed them. Jack Batten, we've missed them at times. Um, Jack has to go off with his thigh the other week at home to Dulwich. And um, that's what I said. Physically, physically, what you've got to go careful. When you change things slightly and we're demanding a little bit more often, you don't want to break them. And um, we've, we've chucked in a load of stuff. Pre-activation work now, working on their mobility, working on a load of back and, and hip stuff and groins. And that will take fruition eventually. That will eventually come through as well as all the other stuff. So Ryan's an experienced player, knows the game, understands his role and responsibility. He played as a, a number 10, if you like, or in a 4-2-3-1, the one advanced. It was really good for us, calm in possession, worked ever so hard. The numbers he hits on his GPS are absolutely frightening for an experienced pro. Um, so yeah, it's great to have him back in. What we've got to do is manage him now and make sure he's right for the next game. So it benefited that you managed to watch Dorking in the week as well. Is it the same sort of side? Yeah, absolutely. Mark Mark doesn't change his system. He believes in his system. All that changes is personnel. He made three changes before today and um, he needed to do that because I know he wasn't too happy with the performance. I thought they were very good in a 2-2 draw against Maidstone or a good side as well. Um, so he's freshened it up and all he's done is, is change like for like. Um, and again, with his substitutions, he's done he's done the same. So what he has got is a very, very strong squad. squad. He's got some good players. He, he's a very good manager. I said before the game today, guys, he's recruited ever so well. I think his squad's stronger than it was last season. And as we know, they beat us in the playoffs. But I think our, our squad can be. Our squad can be. We're not, we're not in the moment. We are where we are at the moment because we deserve to be there, I guess. But we know now things are starting to build in the right direction. And there's no bigger... There's no bigger bit of confidence for the players than winning away at Dorking. As I said, they haven't lost here for a very long time. And um, we're real, really all pleased tonight. We'll get back on that bus, we'll recover properly, make sure they do the recoveries over the next two days and then turn up on Tuesday to go again. Well, Andrew, you made a lot of people very happy today. Cheers, thanks, Martin.